tight corners, no problem. The EQA 215 has 140 kilowatts of power and 375 newton meters of torque. With an electric car, torque instantly translates into thrust. Because an electric motor gives you maximum power straight away, there is no need to rev up or wait for the turbo to kick in. EVs do so many things that thrill me. Not only are they locally CO2 emission free, but they also have really great acceleration, especially when you use the boost. I think it's time to try it. Here we come. Even this instrument here has evolved. What used to be a rev counter is now a power meter showing power, demand and recuperation. The EQA's range of 426 kilometers, by the way, is suitable for all your everyday driving. The EQA has a neat little secret. Its road holding and handling is really sporty. And since we're on this kind of a windy road, I think it's perfect to give it a try. Let's go. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm not a fan of tight corners, but I have to say that this feels relatively easy. I definitely don't feel like I'm being thrown out into the corners. Wow. And look how beautiful it is over here. Wow. This car really does feel extraordinarily agile. There are two reasons for this. The one is the low point of gravity due to the battery lying flat in the bottom like a bar of chocolate. And the other is the brilliant engineering by the chassis team at Mercedes. This EQA 250 is powered by an electric motor on the front axle. Formatic versions with permanent all-wheel drive are available as well. Apart from all the sportiness, there is another sensation to electric cars the absence of noise and of vibrations. It's so calm in here, it's almost like a meditation app. But there is even more to it. My favorite magic trick of this very clever car is called a recuperation. You can win back energy, really. Take a look. There we go. When braking or slowing down, the electric motor generates energy, which is then fed back into the battery. The five recuperation levels from rather strong to rather light are tailored for situations from steep downhills to city driving. So when I set it to de-auto, the eco assist is activated, which allows me to drive more predictably. And that's exactly what we're gonna try out now. There we go, de-auto selected. In a situation where a car ahead is driving more slowly or a speed limit or downhill lies ahead, the Eco Assist advises me to take the foot off the pedal. This way, the car saves energy or even recuperates some. And it has an amazing level of automation. It intelligently selects the level of recuperation by analyzing the traffic situation for you.